What is up guys, it is Zach Cloche. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get past a slightly complicated um, challenge that you might get when you're web scraping data using the Python requests um, package. Uh, so one of the situations that you might run into is you may be looking to get dynamic data from a website that changes depending on um, the data that comes up after you submit a form onto the website. So for example, we might have a site like, um, let's see, let's open this up or open up Chrome really fast. Go to, uh, what was this, uh, steamid.io. So this is a website where you're able to get more data on a specific Steam account just by typing it into this input. So for example, if I go to my website or my uh, my profile, which is Steam Community, yeah, this one. So steamcommunity.com slash ID slash ZachyP123, because that's my Steam name up here. Um, you're able to paste this inside of here, look it up, and then you'll get Steam data back from here. So yeah, like here's my Steam ID. Here's actually there's three Steam IDs. There's my custom URL, my name, and then uh, my location. That's not anymore, but that used to be where I lived. And then um, yeah, my actual profile. It's my account. So on this specific website, uh, you are able to get more information. But if you want to get more than one like profile, let's let, let's say you want to build this into into an official or an efficient uh, function, um, you'll be able to. Um, it, it can be a bit challenging because on one hand, you can like end up finding your just your ID like here, um, and then getting the information and then just typing that into the search bar up here. Um, however, you might not have that ID immediately available for every, let's say, Steam profile or something that you want to scrape. So um, what you can do is uh, because we could just scrape, we could just grab this, I, um, this URL and put it in our program and scrape it easily. Um, the only challenge with this is, um, well, exactly what I said. You won't always have this URL because you won't always have the Steam ID 64, which is what this represents. So right here, it's Steam ID 64. And also, if you have a better website for me to show you an example on, I would be happy to do that for you as well. Now, let's go back to our um, page. So let's, um, before we actually do this, and actually, you know what, let's, let's do it right now, just so I can show you. Uh, so I'm going to open up this request submit to form folder that I already created, but I didn't add the code in yet. So we're going to do this from scratch. So I'm going to create my main.py file. In the terminal, I'm going to say, once this is done loading, we're going to say pip env shell. So let's create our virtual environment and make sure we have that part as we do on every single Python project that we create. Next, we're going to pip install only two packages. So pip install requests and BS4, which stands for beautiful soup uh, four. So we'll go here and now we can import it into our uh, Python script. So we're going to say uh, import requests and import or um, from BS4 import beautiful soup. Loop. Alrighty, now we're going to say, um, first we're going to have our URL here as well. So I know mine, steamcommunity.com. And actually that's not the URL, that's just my uh, Steam profile URL. Slash ID slash ZachyP123. Whoops, like, whoop, that's, <laughs> sorry, that was a fun, Vim command. All right. One, two, three only. There we go. That's better. All right. Then we're going to go to our website where we need to put in the form, which is going to be HTTPS uh, steamid.io. And I believe that's all. Like we can look at the URL up here. So double click and yep, steamid.io. And if we go to the main page here, um, yeah, this is where we are currently at. Uh, so, yep, HTTPS, my DEIO. Let's go back to BS code. So we have that here. Now we're going to say response. 
equals requests dot git that URL that we're going to that we're looking for, and we're looking to get the beautiful soup or uh, and we're gonna parse that using beautiful soup. So response dot uh, response dot text features equals HTML dot parser. And I don't know why that's not a default, but if you do know, please let me know down in the comments. Um, let's see. So yeah, we have this and um, yeah, so let's say we don't know like what my Steam ID is, how we build the URL like for my actual page. So if I click back, um, this ID is specific to uh, Steam, but it's not something that's super easily accessible. Like I think I have to go digging in my settings or something in order to get this code. Uh, but this website has a lot of useful information for us that we can easily grab. So I will grab this just for our own reference. And we're going to see how to get it without actually having the Steam ID. Oops. That makes up this 765 blah, 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 blah code. So we're going to say, um, let's see, valid uh, Steam ID IO URL like that. So this is what we're wanting from some accounts like this. Uh, however, the only data we have is uh, just my Steam profile with a um, a custom URL here. Uh, so let's see what happens whenever we, um, let's see. So uh, essentially we wanna take this URL and grab the data from this page. So let's see how to do that. So we know if we go to URL that, um, to this URL, all this is going to do, it's just gonna get us the data from the home page. So if I just say, um, let's see, print soup right here, we print our soup, we yep so um this is essentially just the home page that we're getting right now so <laughs> uh, we don't specifically want that we want to figure out how to get the specific data which we know if i post in my um let's see if we if i post in my url it'll show up here or if i i might be able to do my custom url as well but um yeah so the custom url can actually oh well wait i didn't think about that Okay, well, I mean, neither of them can work, but uh, we still can't search it up here. Um, so it does require some part, like one of these pieces of information. Uh, so what we can do, um, we can go back to the home page, and um, this is how we're going to get the data. We're going to need to pass data into this field or essentially um, use the same uh, request that it does whenever we press the lookup button after we put in some data. So now what we're going to do is say, go to console. Um, and we're going to type in something here. So, and actually we're going to go to network so I can show you where this information comes from. So to find this information, we're going to search something. So I'm just going to say Zachy P one, two, three. And inside of our network tab, we're going to see what data all of this um, that gets returned from whenever we make this request to get this data. So if we look up here, we see that we can see a bunch of jQuery, bootstrap, icon links, and um, a couple documents. One of them says lookup, one of them has a specific ID. Um, now, let's see what information shows up on a few of these little tabs here. So if I click up lookup here and I go to preview, I can see that this does pull up the whole page. And I can also see Okay, so that one actually doesn't have a preview there, but um, typically when you're working in these forms, it ends up being some version of a post request. Uh, so the lookup to get all of my data was actually this post request right here. Um, and then it tells you which data that you want to actually pass this information to, uh, to get the correct data from the, from the website that we're doing. Um, so uh, with this, we can see also the payload that it passed in order to output or in order to get this um, data to load here. So first it posted, then it got a new request here um, or the a new uh, get request to get all of this data. So let's go here. Inside of our lookup, we're going to copy this request URL that was made a post request to. So copy this. This is going to be our new URL. So we're going to say, delete there, paste that. 
So now we have our URL. But we also saw that that was a post request. So I'm going to put response or requests.post, get the same URL. And the next thing that we're going to need is the data that we're passing into. So in order to find what you need to pass into to get the proper data that you're likely looking for, um, all you have to do is click on the payload of this post request. So as we can see, um, what we need to pass in is the key of input and then whatever thing that we want to search for on this page. Um, so, and where this comes from is if we look at the form here, we can see that it has an ID and a name of input. So I believe name is actually the working, um, uh, the working like identification of this field that we need to be working with. Um, and that's like where this name comes from. So yeah, we will use this in order to get this data. So instead of manually typing it all out, all you have to do is say, um, you make a post request, but you type in the same name of the field and then the data that you want to put into it. So I would say my, in this case, Steam profile URL. And to make sure this works, all we have to do is say, um, so we'll have our response and then we'll have uh, soup. And technically we don't even need soup at this point. So we could just say response.text. Um, we're going to say print Zachy P123 in response.txt. So let's see what happens here. Bleep. So as you can see, we actually got a true. Whereas if we change this back to um, git and we don't put anything here, is it still true? No, it is not. It is false because that's no longer the right page. Uh, and if we look and if um, Let's say we want to try to get some specific data. So uh, let's bring this back a bit. So put that back to post, bring back our soup. And um, to find the data on this specific page, we can go here. So on this, we know that all of our all of the information that we're looking for is in these DD tags. And more specifically, if we're just wanting the value of each of these, we can say down here, um, let's see. So yeah, DD. And uh, I think it's actually the only text inside of that. Yeah, so DT is the key and then DD is the value. Um, we might also just be able to say value and scrape all of those. Uh, I think, yeah, I think that can work. DD dot value. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I believe that will work. Um, so what we can do just to get all of this data, we can say data is equal to soup dot select all of the tags with value. And uh, we're looking for the text in each of these. So we're going to say that our data is equal to, um, let's see, item dot text for item in soup.select.value. So let's see what data this gets us and if this is the appropriate data that we're looking for. So we're going to say print data separation equals backslash n and let's see if this matches. So I'm going to put this on this side and I'm going to run our script. Bloop. Um, okay, so what happened here? Okay, so there's some white space for some reason. Do, 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 do. What is that white space? That's weird. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, let's see. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's something more specific that we're looking for. <laughs> uh, so, let's see. Uh, or we can also just say, um, let's see, let's go back and say item dot text dot strip to get rid of any extra white space that might be connected here. So let's run this again and boom. So as we can see, here's uh, all of this data in order from the order it was scraped. So here's this value of steam ID. Um, and one thing we can also do is um, we can build, let's see. So we can say values and then keys is equal to, let's see. 
key for key and for uh, let's see key dot text dot strip for key and soup dot select dot keys just like so and then we can put all of this into a single dictionary so it can all be aligned and we're gonna say um let's see do to do we're gonna say key value for key value in zip keys and values like so so now let's print our data and actually we're going to pretty print it so from pretty print import pretty print and that's how we'll be able to look at this in a way that's a bit more beautiful so let's run this and see what we get uh okay so currently that is empty why is that empty so for key and soup dot select keys hmm. okay so we're gonna print keys and values Okay, so keys was empty. Um, so why was keys empty? Maybe I said uh, I did something wrong. This one. Okay, so that's does say dot key. Maybe I said dot keys. Ah, yeah, that's why. Okay, so I put in an extra s after the dot key class. Uh, so that's why I didn't find anything. So if we say this again, nice. All right. Um, yep. So now we can put this back in a dictionary. So data equals key value for key value in zip keys values like so. And now we're going to print the data or pretty print it one more time and then print the data. So let's see what we get. Boom. All right. Yeah. So now we have the custom URL, location, name, profile, profile created. Um, yeah. All of the data that we're looking for and organize pretty nicely into um, what's essentially the JSON object that this page should. I would think it would ideally return anyway, but I don't see where it does that. So um, yeah. So that's one way. And um, if you want this code, uh, let's see. I could probably put this in a Git repo really quick wouldn't be too hard um yeah either way like that's all the code that we needed and um all we the only thing that was required for getting this post request is looking at the network tab um finding out what post request was made whenever you make a search and then actually posting there and getting the response that contains whatever was actually returned so um this part confused me at first but um uh, after trying it, like I was like, I thought get request was for getting data, but uh, uh, it looks like when you say request.post, it actually does get back a response. Uh, so that's, um, yeah, that's essentially how that worked. Uh, so uh, hopefully that wasn't confusing. If you liked the video, uh, I'm glad. That's awesome. I want to keep making better content. So um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope that was useful. And if not, uh, I'll probably get better at this in the future. So thank you for watching. Bye for now. Pew.